So I'm sure many of you recognize this background. Um, I am at Ascot, which is only a few days away from where the Royal Ascot meeting is going to take place. And in this video, we're going to have a look at some of the key facets of the Royal Ascot meeting. If you're interested in learning more about what I do and why, then visit our website, but also visit the Academy where you can get much more structured content. Nip on over to our forum where you can talk to like-minded people, but also don't forget to download a free trial of the cutting edge software that will completely transform your betting and trading. So Royal Ascot is the highlight of the flat turf season. It takes place in mid-June and it's run over five days from Tuesday until Saturday. It's one of the biggest race meetings of the year. The most amount of money I've ever seen matched on a race at Royal Ascot was 12 and a half million. This was the year that Frankel and Black Caviar participated in the Royal meeting. However, typically you tend to see that the races match somewhere between sort of about a million to two million. On some of the smaller races on the Saturday it will be much lower and on some of the feature races it will obviously be much higher. So like most major race meetings, you tend to find the markets behave differently at an Ascot and therefore you have to trade it differently. Um, the, on the feature races certainly the money will be uh, stacked up on both sides of the book, the markets will move much slower and the average sort of price move that you see here will be much lower than you see on a day-to-day -day basis. So you have to adapt your trading style to account for that. You're going to be going for small uh, movements within the market and probably repeating it because you will get longer on the market because the liquidity is so much higher. That said, outside of the feature races there will be a little bit more movement, the liquidity will be lower and that will tend to lead to more volatility. So if that's your preferred trading style maybe you would avoid some of the bigger races and go for some of the smaller ones. But yeah, as per normal the markets at a big race meeting like Ascot will behave differently from your day-to-day -day racing. So one of the curious aspects of the Royal Ascot meeting is the quality varies across the course of the week. On Tuesday we get lots of really high quality racing and you do on other days as well but not quite as much as you do on that first day. And when we get to Saturday the racing looks much more normal and it behaves in a manner that is typically more normal to a traditional race meeting. But when you're at Royal Ascot, Tuesday is the first day of the meeting and it really starts with a bang. Now one thing I suggest that you always watch for on any racing and particular at these major meetings is when you get a bit of rain. If we get a big storm such as we have had in previous years that can make the ground soften fairly quickly. The course conditions tend to be produced for perfect racing and while you can water a ground you can't unwater it. So if you get a sharp shower that could dramatically affect the price of any of the horses within each of these races. Now when you get a large race meeting like an Ascot, this can produce a theme that develops across the course of the meeting or on one particular day. So when we get a jockey or a trainer producing a number of winners, that can set off gambles on subsequent horses. Now one of the advantages that you've got with Bet Angel is Bet Angel can find these opportunities for you automatically, alerting you to when these are about to happen or could happen within any particular race meeting. But let's have a look at a situation that developed in a previous Royal Ascot that produced absolutely outstanding trading opportunities. Frankie Tesoro has won the first four races of the day. Uh, the first three were at quite large odds. The favourite in the fourth race was his, which he romped home on. What do you think happened in the fifth race? Uh, what actually happened with Turgenev is a Stradivarius was pretty much crossing the line everybody plunged in on Turgenev. It was available at odds of 15. Um, when the activity started within the market, it moved quickly into odds of 12. Um, and then we saw the odds move down to seven and a half. So even if you would have missed that first opportunity, you would have had another one and another one and another one. And the remarkable thing about this is the whole market was completely on fire at this particular moment in time. At the peak of the absolute mayhem that this market was, there was nearly a quarter of a million pounds trying to back Turgenev at four and a half. Purely on the basis that Frankie de Tori had won the previous four races 
and he was looking for a fifth. If you go onto the forum during a major meeting, you'll see and hear us chatting to each other within there, and you'll actually see all of these things developing real time. So if you're slightly cautious or you're not sure exactly what you're looking for, very often you will find it in the forum as you see all of the individual traders chatting amongst themselves. So let me give you another trading opportunity. So have a look at the chart of Bring On The Night here. It's written by Ryan Moore. He's won quite a few races and that of what pulled the price in. But when we look at the horse uh, just before it's about to load, uh, you can actually see something really interesting here. You can see that the horse is sweating up. When it turns side on, this will be a bit clearer to you, but this is a big negative. So whatever has happened to the horse prior to this particular period or not, people seeing this will start laying it and the price will start drifting. So when you're at a large meeting like Ascot, there's going to be a lot of money coming through the markets and that tends to hold the price up a little bit, but you can use that to your advantage. When you're looking at a particular market and you look at the ladder, then what you may find every now and again is when you're watching that market intensely on the ladder, a large order comes in and gets the price moving. Now, typically you will see that on the ladder, but also it's very obvious sometimes on the chart as well. You'll see a volume spike that occurs that indicates that somebody's waded into the market with a big chunk of money. They've taken out the current price and that very often sets off a market move. So Royal Ascot is the highlight of the year or one of the highlights of the year for me. It can produce some absolutely fantastic opportunities and it's worth giving it your full attention.